Hello, and welcome back. Uh, today we're getting into parent and child relationships and uh, the born technique inside of Inventor. Uh, no, this does not mean I'm going to tell you how to parent your child. So what we're going to look at is understanding what the concept and the usage of the born technique is, uh, how these parent-child relationships are important inside of uh, Inventor. Uh, we're going to talk about the suppress feature command and how to resolve undesired feature interactions. So first off, we're talking about parent-child relationships and it's one of the most powerful aspects of parametric modeling, uh, basically because everything's interconnected and we can use that interconnected information to define things like size, location, and orientation. Uh, these relationships basically let us know how models are going to react. Now, the Born technique is something that we don't really do, per se, inside of Inventor. Uh, Inventor already does it for us. Uh, but Born stands for Base Orphan Reference Node. Basically, the idea of this is that the first feature in anything that we do is a Cartesian coordinate system, which, we like said, Inventor already does for us. And it's called Base Orphan Reference Node because, uh, morbidly, the Cartesian coordinate system doesn't have parents. So it's the orphan in the entire family of our inventor parts. Now, the other thing we we're going to look at was the uh, suppress feature command. And we can access that just by right clicking on any type of feature inside of our history tree, and we have the option to suppress them. Uh, suppressing them kind of acts like deleting them in a sense, but we still retain all the information for that particular part. So even though I might delete a rectangular cut, that rectangular cut information is still going to be there when I suppress it. And this kind of suppressing of features gives us a uh, flexible design approach to where if we have a model that is very similar, we can go in and have it maintain these different features for slight changes in its design. So that's all we're looking at in this particular video, uh, basically talking about how the relationships between the different parts work uh, and how we can suppress different features and how those relationships affect different aspects of these different features when we suppress them. So in our tutorial video, we'll get into the actual application of these different ideas. So I'll see you in the next video. Uh, thanks again for watching, and as always, be inventive.